Exactly, exactly that problem of mine, people say, well, I don't care about the roads, I don't care about these other things, then uh, that feedback we would have to take on board and look at, okay, well, what, how do we get as close as we can as into the future now that uh, people have identified they'd rather go uh, and, and see that they're happy to exceed uh, a drop in uh, maintenance, a drop in uh, level of services. Uh, and then we have to have a right look at that. But you're right, it's not, it's not a realistic option as it sits. But to, to actually paint a realistic option as it sits, then we would have to actually cut back those services. We could take the risk and say, okay, let's, we've operated like this for 20 years, this is how we're operating. The community says uh, we want to keep going as a current trade, put in our submission and say, okay, good luck. Uh, we won't be anywhere near the uh, fit to the future uh, benchmarks, but we could take that risk. It's not a risk that I would recommend, but you can do that. In fact, some councils have said that we don't want to take any notice of state government. And they must have got that message because the, um, the recent paper from uh, IPART <coughs> says that those councils that don't put in a submission, uh, they will not be able to be assessed by IPART as to whether they're a fit council or not, so they'll be deemed unfit. If you're deemed unfit, does anyone guess what's going to happen? Sorry, one really quick question on that. I know we have five sessions, and then we need director here, but four engineers. Yep. Four engineers are under his care. No, that's right. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's, 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 that's gradually replacing them over a period of time. It's building that in, okay? Yeah, that was your built in there so that you were replaced over a period of time. Something putting four back in. You're not four back in the first year. You do that coming um, yeah. from the Okay, so it's been there. Can I ask you a question? Yep. Scenario two, does that doesn't meet the fit for the future requirements. I'll, I'll come to that. Uh, it doesn't quite get there, no. Uh, it doesn't. And, and, and the biggest area that it doesn't is if you look at the impact on the infrastructure, one of the questions they ask us to do is to address that backlog address that backlog, whether it be bridges, whether it be roads, whether it be buildings, all we've done is build in that extra money in the demand for uh, maintenance of the road network. Uh, it does address some of the, the maintenance issues there to stop the maintenance backlog increasing on the road network, but it's not addressing that past backlog. So that's one of the key issues that it falls down on. Uh, it's probably, I think everything is pretty well covered. There. We can probably address that a bit later on. We'll go on to scenario three. Okay, 